It is now June 11, and I want to say happy birthday, Paris. Talk to you once I wake up tomorrow. But happy birthday. Look at what hell has done to this horse in Germany. Golf ball size, baseball size, softball size hell coming down with force, harming. So, oh, it's not just cars. All of the animals out there, all of the animals drowning because of these flash flood events that are taking place. Okay, we know that weather is being used as a weapon, but I want to share what was shared below one of my videos that I posted today, this video, and I want to thank that subscriber who sent this along. Look at what sound waves can do. Sound waves, electromagnetic waves, frequencies, extremely low frequencies, sonic, ultrasonic, acoustic sound. The film you are about to see has no characters. If you spare a little of your imagination, it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter.
Well, so when you saw what sound can do to water, uh, were you thinking about all of the rivers, the flooding? How about the videos that I have shown you? I'd like that circle to stop. Um, the videos that I've shown you where you are seeing lakes that have white caps. The lakes look like there should be a tremendous, a tremendous a force of wind. And then you see the trees. Not even a leaf moving, no wind, but that lake is showing you something is happening, right? Extremely low frequencies. That, uh, those extremely low frequencies are in that spectrum of ultrasound, infrasound, acoustic. Look at the fire jumping around. Did you think about well, those fires, the wildfires that are jumping rivers, jumping rivers, and they claim it's because of the uh, wind gusts. Well, guess what? Extremely low frequencies. can cause waters to move, fires to jump, and it can bring about wind gusts. Yeah, I don't we wish that we could get through the people, but when you see this kind of destruction taking place all over, this is South Carolina. This is Greenville. Well, that of course Greenville. Uh, we see all over the country, state after state after state, experiencing unprecedented destruction from weather, you would think it would beg questions. Um, when this occurs in Texas, in Oklahoma, in uh, Arkansas, in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Minnesota, uh, North, South Dakota, uh, all over. And it's happening at the same time and then you're seeing the kind of destruction that one would think okay what happened to our storms here is it really just climate change is climate change bringing about such destructive winds winds really look at what has happened in Dallas Stand the wind. Run, 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 run. Look at that. It came crashing down. This is on an SUV. This is in uptown Dallas along Hall Street. Fortunately, no one inside that car. The billboard did partially hit a second vehicle with a family inside, but we are told no one was hurt there. We had no clue it hit us, and I started crying. And my sister freaked out because she thought I was hurt, and I was upset because I thought she was hurt. We're both on the same side. Now, as for the owner of the Escalade, she and a friend were actually eating in a restaurant when that sign came down. We heard a big, loud crash. The lights flickered inside, and we didn't think anything of it. And then we went to leave and saw that this billboard had fallen down right on top of my car. Right on top of my car. <clears throat> a billboard. Okay, something else is... And it is up first tonight, that construction crane that crashes into a Dallas apartment building. It was caught on cell phone video, and I just want you to take a look at the distance there, right in that distance. Can you see a piece of wood? Just flew off the control. Oh, my God, the crane is falling over. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 
That crane fell onto that occupied apartment building. This is just east of downtown near the Deep Ellum area. Inside that complex, we are now getting one look at that damage with that video, floors collapsing, stacked on top of each other along with cars and debris. One person, as we mentioned, killed there. Our Yona Gavino live now. This is at the Elan City Lights Apartments. Frightening disaster for many of those tenants there, Yona. It is, Steve. We talked to a number of them. They describe as seeing a horrific scene, telling me that they saw their neighbors trapped in their balconies. We even spoke to one man who rescued one of his neighbors. Video from Chopper 11 paints a devastating scene of destruction. Cars tossed around, surrounded by a mountain of rubble. David Mendoza raced out to see what was going on. My wall started to shake a bit. I look out and the entire courtyard had just turned completely white and gray from debris. A quick survey of the garage turned into a life-saving effort as he and a fellow neighbor rushed to help a man cut and hurt. I'm looking next to my truck and we're seeing just a pile of cars and we look over to the right and we see a gentleman kind of dangling in his car that's like facing straight down. And so me, me and the, my other neighbor, we were just kind of, yeah, we can't leave him like that. Dallas Fire Rescue says a crane being used at a construction site next to the building collapsed onto the top of the five-story apartment. Six people were taken to the hospital. Okay, so, you know, if this was like a uh, once-in-a-blue-moon event, you know, freak things happen. How is it that billboards are falling down on cars, cranes are falling onto apartment buildings, killing people? What is happening here? This is not climate change. This is man stirring up an awful lot of very destructive wind, rain, and the power outages in Dallas, 300,000 people were without power. And we have just shy of 200,000 still without power. And they claim it could persist for several days. And then you read these articles, 496 traffic signals have no communication, were damaged or were otherwise inoperable. 168 just flashing red due to the reset and this 80 year or 81 year old woman <clears throat> excuse me what did she say you know i felt like it was our turn our turn we've had so many storms and within five minutes we were in the worst storm i've ever experienced in 81 years when you're hearing people in this country regardless of where they are saying never experienced anything like it never seen anything like it and that's the mantra now something else is happening this is not climate change please stop believing the lie rose harp had more problems than just not having any power what happened um in her home her office in the home she's shared with her husband for more than 40 years was sheared off by a falling oak tree on Sunday, leaving only the floor, two interior walls, and the doorway to her upstairs hallway. The upstairs was sheared off. So what, the oak tree <clears throat> somehow, I don't know. Did it fall and then literally like in a horizontal position just fly and shear off the second floor of her home? Very bizarre things are happening, but if you understand these electromagnetic frequencies, well, you can't help but think, okay, you know, we see these very bizarre cloud patterns. 
So when you watch what sound waves can do and can actually create geometric shapes. Okay. I want to read some of this article. I will link below to Harp Weather Control. Is the Harp Project a weather control weapon? Yes. And uh, yeah, the European Union, um, just do the research, you'll find the documents. And many countries were calling for the United States to disclose what was going on at HARP, the high frequency auroral um, research project. Well, the United States refused. They just ignored the European Union. And what I just want to read here, the Earth's magnetic field could be decreased or disrupted at appropriate altitudes to modify or eliminate the magnetic field. So a lot of people have asked, well, what do you think about what's happening with the magnetic field, the magnetic pole, it's shifting. And yes, I come back and say, my first thought is to look at HARP. And the HARP-like facilities around the world are Doppler radar stations, are mini HARP stations, shooting very powerful high frequencies into the ionosphere, and those frequencies bounce back as extremely low frequencies right to the Earth's surface. They can penetrate the Earth's surface, and they can decrease or disrupt, modify or eliminate the magnetic field. That's how powerful and dangerous are these frequencies that are being used. <clears throat> and these Doppler radar stations, the HARP facilities around the world, or HARP-like facilities. But I want to read some excerpts from documentaries a 15-minute CBC documentary available for free viewing, if you click on this hyperlink, and even more detailed and revealing 45-minute History Channel documentary on ARP. So this is an excerpt from that History Channel documentary, Electromagnetic we Weapons, Pack an Invisible Wallop, hundreds of times more powerful than the electrical current in a lightning bolt. One can blast enemy missiles out of the sky. Another could be used to blind soldiers on the battlefield. Still another to control an unruly crowd by burning the surface of their skin. If detonated over a large city, an electromagnetic weapon could destroy all electronics in seconds, can take down the grid. They all use directed energy to create a powerful electro electromagnetic pulse. Directed energy is such a powerful technology, it could be used to heat the ionosphere to turn weather into a weapon of war. Imagine using a flood to destroy a city, or tornadoes to decimate an approaching army in the desert. If an electromagnetic pulse went off over a city, basically all the electronic things in your home would wink and go out, and it would be permanent. The military has spent a huge amount of time on weather modification as a concept for battle environments. Another video along similar lines, the excellent History Channel documentary titled The Invisible Machine, Electromagnetic Warfare. And this is a quote, and you can get to that video available here. I've not clicked on all hyperlinks, so whether or not they're still available, well, it remains to be seen by those who click on the hyperlink. This is a quote from an article in New Zealand's leading newspaper, the New Zealand Herald. Top secret wartime experiments were conducted 
over the coast of Auckland to perfect a tidal wave bomb. Details of the tsunami bomb, known as Project SEAL, are contained in 53 old documents released by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Why the media isn't covering these highly critical issues? Well, you can click on this hyperlink, which will bring you to a very interesting um, article, Media Corruption, Leading Journalists Expose Major Corruption in Mass Media. And I will link below. These are, uh, they were leading journalists at the time. They were award-winning journalists. And they talk about how well, they had stories that they wanted to report, but they were prevented from reporting them. Why? Because we are not to know the truth. We are not to know what these frequencies can do. What can they do? Watch this four minute video. It was also Tesla who put man on his quest to control the weather. He developed a chilling theory for controlling the weather using extremely low frequency waves. Using extremely low frequency waves. I apologize for the audio. It's not great, but uh, if it doesn't come through very well in this video, click on the link below and watch it on your own extremely low frequencies. or accidentally aimed at an already unstable fault line that could, according to Dr. Agnew, cause a tremendous earthquake. ELF waves are the same way. They vibrate the Earth, and at right resonant frequencies, they can have devastating effects.
So we have seen, and I have posted, <clears throat> the video either earlier today or last night, homes literally taken off their foundation and suddenly they're 300 feet away from the foundation. We're seeing roads collapse all over. Extremely low frequencies are incredibly dangerous when they're in the wrong hands. And these frequencies are in the wrong hands. We are at war. All links are below.